Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is going to be a Colorado Avalanche season preview. As is the next round of our hockey videos. This is Sportsman Night News. I'm Joe Borick. Please subscribe down below. Or at the top, at the end of the video, on the easy-to-use widget, if you enjoy the content, really appreciate your support. Of course, the Avalanche has some nice young faces getting introduced. Uh, they got Sampo Ranta, who is a kid that turned pro after he busted out in his a or in his AHL in his third season in the NCAA in his junior year and then he showed the scoring prowess in his short AHL stint and then of course Alex Newhook who looked good in his cup of coffee last year is up now who was able to have a very good AHL time as well for the Colorado Avalanche this is affiliate as well so you have guys that are coming up you got Bo Byram as well so there's three young guys, Bo Byram, of course, playing the 19 games last year and looking pretty solid as well, that are going to have even more of an impact this year when it comes to Newhook and Byram and have an impact when it comes to Sampo Ranta, who really emerged again in his third season at college and looks like he's going to continue to get better and better each year since coming out of Minnesota. Ryan Murray is a good defensive defenseman. Jack Johnson is meh at this point of his career. But you do have Curtis McNamee, and obviously, down the line, day-to-day -day right now, you have Devin Taze, who's going to kick him out of the lineup anyway. And then there's Gene Luke Foodie that you have as nice prospects developing. Morton Cout is still a very good power forward. He just had to deal with injuries when he can come back. He looks like he's good. Shane Bowers looks like he'll be a nice little player as well. Not the best offensively, obviously, but... He's just strong along the boards and seems like he can develop into just that bottom six or face-off winning strong four-checker, strong along the boards type guy and be of some use for your team in the future because you have to have as good a bottom six players as you want to have in the top six in order to be the great juggernaut of a team, the Colorado Avalanche, or to be projected first in the Central, which is exactly where they should be at, where your team should be at. You're one of the best teams in all of hockey yet again. Yes, you did lose the goaltender in Philip Grubauer, who obviously helped his team get carried to the promised land last year. But Pavel Francois did look good before getting injured again. Unfortunately, he's out with an ankle for four weeks again. But Johansson did look good. He got out of the hellhole of Buffalo and then started looking good amongst that defense, amongst that great system run by Bednar down there in, or up there in Colorado and playing very successfully. Where the reason I said down there is because they went from down there and got Darcy Kemper and brought him up north to the Colorado Avalanche, which is the huge offseason pickup. Darcy Kemper, as far as I'm concerned, is one of the league's top probably seven goaltenders in the league, somewhere in that range. And we saw him just carry the Arizona Coyotes through thick and thin, especially in the postseason when they were allowing shots on end, on end, on end, on goal. And he was playing amazing. Now he's actually going to have a defense that is obviously way more fluent, way more controlled, controls the zone, controls the play, controls the puck movement up the ice a lot more, and just plays more efficiently and fluently in front of the goaltender. So it's going to be absolutely a joy to see what Darcy Kemper is able to do up there in Colorado, just like you saw Gruby have his best seasons. I would imagine Kemper's going to, because look how good he was in kind of a very just mediocre situation in Arizona, of course, he was the reason that he carried them to the postseason and got them there for the most part. And he's not going to have to do that in Colorado. He's just going to have to do his job, do his thing, and make the big save and make the saves that needs to be made. And he's plenty enough qualified to do that. And then obviously when it comes to the lineup, you have the man, the myth, the legend, Nathan McKinnon on the team, along with Meek O'Rotanen. You obviously also have Nazim Kadri. You have Nachushkin you were able to bring in. So this team has a lot of obviously... Very good players and very good firepower they're going to have to add. Of course, Nathan McKinnon's going to be out due to the COVID-19 illness, but he'll be back soon, and he'll be killer this entire season again. And then once Devin Taze does come back this season, along with Pavel Francois, Taze only day-to-day, -day, Francois about a month still, I think both of those will still, Taze definitely and Francois will still be an impact player and an impact backup goalie. Plus you have Johansson that you guys developed nicely since bringing him over from the hellhole of Buffalo. So again, this team is set to come in first place in their central 
division. I think that is exactly what they're going to do in the Central Western Division, and that's going to be what this team does. They're a great team, again, led by Gabriel Landis, Cog, led by McKinnon, led by Radnick, and then have great filler players like the Burakoskis, the Samparantas, the Newhorks that are going to be great young additions. you got Yost, you got Nachushkin, of course. you got Darren Helm, who's been around, who's a great veteran that's been in a good cultures all around his career, so it's good to have him, a good locker room guy. So you got all the right things, all the boxes you want to check with this Colorado Avalanche team. Now it's not about getting to the playoffs, of course, for you Avs fans. It's about what you do when you get there, but you sure as hell are going to get there, and you're going to have another successful season. Darcy Kemper is probably going to be in Vezina contention, honestly, playing for this team. I would not put that past him and past the Avalanche to get him in that contention at all. And I would have put it past them to be in the Jennings race either, especially since they have three good goaltenders now as far as I'm concerned. Johansson just had to get out of Buffalo. Now he looks good. Francois is very solid when healthy. And then obviously Darcy Kemper is a beast. So I hope you all enjoyed this Colorado Avalanche season preview. The Avalanche are going to make the playoffs again. They're one of the best cup contenders right up there with the Golden Knights this year when it comes to that Western Conference. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a good, successful season. Good luck to you Avalanche fans. Peace out.